Okay, so let's go in and take a look at how we go into Eximic Computer's website and download the program that we need in regards to the Active Desktop Calendar. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's go in and see how we can download the Active Desktop Calendar. And what I do is that I go down and start up my browser. And here you can use any browser you want. As you can see down here, I have Microsoft's Internet Explorer. I have Google's Chrome. I have Apple's Safari. I have Firefox. And I have Opera down here. And you can use any browser you want. I like to use the Chrome. So I click on the Chrome. And then when I get into Google, I go in and write Active Desktop desktop calendar and then search and here you can see I get into their website right away so when I click on the first found entry here you can see then I'm getting into XME computers and here I can download the program and here you have to determine which one you want if you want the 32-bit or the 64-bit and in my case here I want the 32-bit because I have an older computer but the people who has newer computers perhaps have to check if theirs have been set up as a 64-bit and then you can download a 64-bit by clicking clicking over here for 64-bit version, click here if you want to download. If you just want to download the 32-bit here, then you just click here for the free download. And we can see down here in the left corner, now it is downloading, and you can see that the file name that we are looking for is called adc.exe, ADC as Active Desktop Calendar, Dot exit. So I'm waiting for it to be approved and then it's my virus program that is holding it up. It is checking if the file is fine before it let it save in my download folder. So when that has happened and you have downloaded the file, I'll minimize the browser just for safety reason here so that I can go back if something happens. Then I'll open my Explorer, not my Internet Explorer, but my Explorer, and then I'll find my download folder. And you can see here, here is my ADC exit. It has to be said that when you go to their website, their files are not zipped. That means compressed. And that makes so that if you have virus programs installed, they will definitely go after this exit file to check if there is any malicious viruses attached to this exit file. So just be aware that that will happen. So now we have downloaded from their website. And like I said, if you want a 64-bit version, you can go back again here. And we could have gone into a says, 64-bit version click here and you can see now down here in the bottom again you can see that now it's downloading the ACD 64-bit exe and again the virus program will hold on to it just for a little while until I've checked that it doesn't have any malicious viruses attached to it so what we're doing here in the folder in the download folder we can see that it hasn't yet saved the file it's still checking it because you can see unconfirmed 4699 downloading that means it is still checking it with the virus program to see if it has any viruses attached and as soon as the virus program let it go then it will be saved into the download folder and that's where I get all the files that I download from different sites they are saved in the download folder and we can see here now that now it's saved that means that the virus program have approved it and said yeah we can't find any malicious viruses so it's fine we saved it to your hard drive so now we have both we have a 32-bit and a 64-bit version of the program in the next video we'll take a look at how you get it installed and how you set it up.